Hey you guys, it's Megan. We are live. Happy Wednesday. I think today is the 19th of May. I just got back from a huge thrift haul and you know what? I forgot to grab my receipts to even tell you guys how much I spent and how many items I got. But I know at the first store I spent $400 and I got I think 117 items and then at my second store I spent $260 and I think I got like 70 items, maybe a little bit more, I don't remember. So I have no idea what the cost of goods comes out to. But anyways, I have to go pick up my kids at about 5.30. So I have about a half an hour to do a live thrift haul with you guys. Hey Bobby, thanks for coming in. Hi Lauren. Hi um, Miss Pris Thrift. Um, hello, Knitting House Square. Thanks for coming in. I also got some McDonald's. I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. Um, what do I have for breakfast? I had a muffin for breakfast on my way to dropping off the kids at school and a Red Bull. Went to my first thrift store. I was there probably three hours. And then while driving to the next thrift store, I had a ba bag of Chex Mix and some water. And then afterwards, I just got home. So I've been out um, all day since 9 a.m. So I'm having some McDonald's. Sorry, it's gonna be eating party too. But let's jump into it. I got some shoes. And you guys know I'm very particular about shoes. Uh, I'm so hungry. Hey, Periwinkle Blooms, thanks for coming in. Hi, Smart and Savvy Gal. Hey, JRH, thanks for coming in. I also have a burger here that I need to finish. Okay, let me show you some shoes. Oh, everything was half off today. So, right here, we've got some really cute leather Franco Sardo, I can't even talk, Franco Sardo booties with an open toe. Um, originally nine, so I paid $4.50. They are in excellent condition and they are a size six and a half. Really cute, like strappy accent and they are in excellent condition. The soles look pretty good. Um, these, I would imagine taking like a photo of them like laid out on the floor, like a flat lay. And I think that photo would look really nice. Okay, one item down, hundreds more to go. I definitely won't be able to get through all of this, but I'll go as far as I can before I have to leave. Hello, a closet full. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Wanderbiz. This is a gorgeous blue color. It's like, I don't know, aqua, maybe it's turquoise. They are Vince Camuto. They are a strappy sandal. And I'm trying to think of the best way to photograph these so that you can show like the whole, like how strappy this is because just laying it down, you're not gonna be able to see how cool it is. But this like goes all the way up to your ankle. And no, I'm not going to be modeling these for pictures. Um, they're a size seven, so a little bit too big for me anyways. But beautiful color. Um, soles are in decent shape. What did I pay? $8.99, so $4.50 for these. I had to Google this brand while I was in the store, but it looked pretty good. This is called Nurture. The label is super hard to read, but when I picked them up, I could tell they were good quality. These are like a leather upper, a little peep toe, chunky heel. They are a size nine. Leather slash man-made upper, leather lining, made in Dominican Republic, and the style is called Hope. So these are really cute. However, they did write the price on the side, $4.99, so I paid $2.50 for these. I'm pretty confident I can get this off with some of my shoe scuff remover or uh, just some hand sanitizer. Okay. Have another bag of shoes here. Hello, 808 reseller. Thanks for coming in. Hi, uh, Black Ivory Fashions. Hello, Julie. Okay. Here's another pair of Franco Sardo. These are in excellent condition. They are an open toe booty. The top is denim. Let's see, they were $9.99, so I paid $5 for these. They are a size eight and a half, 
fabric upper style name is Dawn. These do look pretty recent um, and they're in excellent condition. I picked up these Sam Edelman heels. Now these are not in perfect shape, but look at the side. Can you see through there? That is a super cool like accent to these heels. Like you can look through it and it's got this, feels like plastic, but like fake metal thing. Someone will buy these just because of the heel. The soles are all right. There is a little bit of wear. I paid, they were $4.99, so $5, so $2.50. They are leather and they're size seven. Beautiful. I cannot walk in anything like that though myself. Okay, these, I don't know if I should have got these or not, but I did. They're Tommy Bahama. I paid $3.50 for them. They are a size seven and a half. They are leather. They have a gorgeous like stone on the front, but the footbed is starting to lift a little bit right here but I may try and clean them up and see if I can glue that back down or I may just sell them as is. But I feel like this is like the perfect vacation, beach, cruise, sandal. So, and then the soles are in pretty bad shape, but I just like the jewels on them. Okay, these are Crocs and I normally would not pick up Crocs, but these are like a knockoff dance co shoe. They've got a cool design. They are in excellent condition. They are a size 6W, so a 6 wide. Um, and I saw someone post the other day that like Crocs are making a comeback. So these honestly don't even look worn. Like the sole looks perfect. If they did, maybe they just wore them inside and never went outside with them, but they're like a knockoff dance co. Um, I paid $3 for them. So I have a feeling these are going to do really good, even though they're by Crocs. Okay, a couple more shoes. Hi, Iron City Flip. Okay, these, Franco Sardo again. Um, I can't really show you because the stupid tag thing. These are leather, and they're just a basic strappy sandal. They are size six, and I only paid $2 for these, but they are leather, um, just like a basic neutral sandal. I think in general, these will do great for the summer. Not sure if I should have got these or not. Um, these are by Dr. Scholl's, but they're genuine calf hair uppers and they're leopard print, so who doesn't like that? They look brand new. The bottoms don't have any wear on them and they still have the manufacturer sticker there. I paid $3.50 and they are a size seven. Yeah, it says leather upper. And then on the little tag on the bottom, it says real fur dyed cow fur. And they're just like a pointy toe flat. And I believe, yeah, they've got memory foam cool fit. So even though they're Dr. Scholl's, which I believe are sold at Walmart, I think this is a great style. Okay, last pair of shoes. These are by uh, Lauren, Ralph Lauren, Espadrille Wedges. These, these also, well, I can't decide if they're new or not because the foot bags look perfect and the bottom still has the original like manufacturer sticker but the sole looks like it has a little wear there and same here, but it still has this sticker on it. Um, yeah, I don't know, but they're in excellent condition either way. So I paid $3.50 for them. They are like a metallic denim upper and then the espadrille wedge heel. Okay, there's our shoes. Let's look at some other stuff. Okay, I did buy something, Crocs are a bolo. Really, barter mania? See, when I think of Crocs, I think of 
like, you know, the first generation ones they came out with, like the slip on ones with the holes in the front that everyone wear with like sweatpants to Walmart. I didn't realize that was a good thing until the other day someone posted on Instagram that like Crocs were like a good seller. So when I saw those, I was like, huh, I'll try it out. But I had no idea. I thought Crocs were just like some cheap, crappy shoe. Um, yeah, learn something new every day. Hey, Northwest Purple Sparkles, thanks for coming in. Okay, I did get a couple other things that I normally would not source as well. I found Pottery Barn Kids, what are these? Curtains. They are purple polka dot. They are in perfect condition. All, they're, well, all panels. There's two panels here. And I saw the tag, Pottery Barn Kids, and I know this stuff sells for a lot. So um, $4.99, I paid half of that. I paid $2.50 for a complete set of these purple polka dot pottery barn curtains. They hardly even look used, but I guess curtains probably shouldn't look used anyways because they're just hung up. They're not actually like, they're not getting wear and tear. So $2.50, I assume brand new, these were probably at least a hundred bucks. Okay, and then I found another set that I think I'm gonna keep. These are not by Pottery Barn, but they were, uh, $15, so $7.50 for the set, but it showed the length on the tag, which was 108 inches, which is actually the length that I wanted for our living room and dining room area. So for that price, I believe there's at least two panels here. I'm going to keep these for our house. Not a huge fan of the yellow, but this is way better than me going out and spending $100 on curtains. So those are for me. I also got a couple random rugs. This is something I can throw in the washer. Um, but with the new flooring we got, I needed some rugs. So I just need a couple things to go like in the bathrooms and in front of the doorways. So I found those. That was like $2. I think this is a rug. How much was this? $1. Might put that like in front of the bathtub. This one was four, so $2. I think these are rugs. Just the design of it, but I figured it would be easy to wash if the kids get it dirty. And then I found this cute beach towel, $2. Okay, none of that is really reseller related except for those Pottery Barn curtains. Bobby, I sell a ton of Crocs. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna join the Crocs family. Okay, let's get into some actual reseller goodies. Let me have a bite of my burger real quick because I am so hungry. Don't mind me. Just gonna have a little snack. Uh, I don't know if I should be eating on camera. Hello, the Variety Plaza. Thanks for coming in. These are new without tags. These are Gap, always skinny. They still have part of where the little hang tag was on them and they have an ankle zipper. I paid $3.50 for these. Next up, these are Nine West. They are just a pull on skinny jean uh, women's size 16, I paid $2.50. I think I told you guys at the beginning of this video, but I have not gone thrift shopping in over a month. So I was really excited and I was just buying everything in sight. It was half off day, so I just went crazy and bought tons of stuff. So uh, these are J. Crew. I do like this J. Crew label. They are size women's 36, so I want to say that is like a 16 or 18, if I'm not mistaken. They're the Curvy Toothpick. I paid $3.50 for these. Next up, these are just Riders by Lee, but they are a pull-on jean. 
This is fake. And they were $2.50. And they are a size 16. These are by Loft. They're a size extra, extra small, petite. Um, they are new with tags, and they were $3.50. I may keep these for myself because they have a cool faux leather front, and that would look really cute with like a little, I don't know, like halter top or something in the summer. We'll see. That might go in my pile. Hello, nobody likes, what is it? Nobody likes... I'm just gonna call you nobody likes. For some reason, I'm looking at the rest of it and I can't put it together. Thanks for coming in. Here's a pair of Liverpool. They're like a Ponte knit jean. I paid $2.50 for those. Hello, Hustle Muscle, thanks for coming in. Here's a pair of Banana Republic Logan Fit dress pants. These are in perfect condition. I paid $2 for them. I have not heard of this brand before, but the tag really interested me, and then I Googled it, and it looked pretty good. So the brand is called Mint by Jody Arnold. They're a size four. They're a Ponte knit, like, legging pant, but they do have a, a zipper fly, so I guess they're just a pant. But then the front has that faux leather accent, kind of like the ones by Loft. I paid $3.50 for those. Julie, please take time to eat. Um, I stuffed my face a little bit before I came live, but I don't wanna spend my whole time here in front of you guys just stuffing my face and trying to talk. Um, so I'll probably finish my food after I pick up the kids and come back home. It's been a busy day. I got to work. Okay. These are by Cabby. This is an older tag, but they're a really fun. At first it looked like camo, but now I see some like clovers on there. So I'm not quite sure what it is, but they have an ankle zipper and that's always a selling point. I paid $2.50 for these. Plus, if you're not familiar with Cabby, all of them have a three or four digit style number on the tag, so it's super easy to Google that and find out the exact name. Next up, here's a pair of Lafayette 148 dress pants. These I paid $1.50 for. I did notice that the waist has been taken in a little bit. If you look at the back and the front, you can see that someone did they did a pretty good job taking in the waist. So when I list these for sale, I am going to notate that the waist was taken in, but for $1.50, um, I wasn't gonna pass them up despite the small alteration. Here is a pair of Gap skinny jeans. I picked these up because of the color. They are a really cool like dusty olive shade. They're a waist size 25. I did pay $3.50 for these, but I tend to do really well with the Gap 1969 logo jeans, especially in a fun color like this, and they are a skinny leg. Okay. Hello, Fab Fave Fines. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Bolivar Cottage. Hello, the Black House Trading Post. These are new with tags. This is Express. They're a black dress pant with like a belted paper bag waist. I spent $2.50 on those. Okay, I'm gonna stay on another five minutes and then I'm gonna get off and finish my food and then go pick up the kids. So we'll do a couple more items and that will have to be it for today. Perhaps I can pop on tomorrow and do the rest of the haul. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, I'll keep going for another five minutes. These are American Eagle. They are new with tags. They are a size two, which is not a great size, but they are the mom jean and they're corduroy and they're camo. So we got three good things going for us. Corduroy, camo, 
and they're a mom jean. Well, and they're new with tags, and they're by American Eagle. So I guess five good things going on for these. So I spent $8.50 on this pair, but I think they are a fantastic style, and these should sell fairly quickly. Here's a pair of mauve jeans. These have a really cool tuxedo side stripe. I paid $3.50 for these. And I want to show you guys actually on this brand where you find the size. Because if you look here on the waistband, you don't see anything. And then when you look on the inside tags, you still don't see anything. But the size is actually hidden on the very last barcode tag. I know this is backwards for you guys, but when you look at it, you can see the barcode number, there's more numbers down below, and then at the bottom, it says 25 slash 27. So the waist size is 25 and then 27 inch inseam. So if you get a pair of Mavi jeans, always flip to the very last barcode tag and just analyze this, and you will see that little size number here at the bottom. Okay. Next up, what do we have? Old Navy. I did pick up quite a few Old Navy jeans today, but it is because they were um, a good style or good size, good condition. Um, anyways, let's talk about it. So Old Navy, Rockstar, that's a really great fit by them. I paid $2.50 for these, and these had a really good feature. So they have a raw frayed released hem. This is, this is gold. Pretty much any jeans that have this on the end, I'll pick up especially if it's a good size or a known brand. They're a size 16. These should sell fairly quickly. All right. Here's a pair of cut from the cloth Farrah high rise boot cut jeans. They're a women's size 12. They were $4. So I paid two bucks for these. You guys know I am particular about picking up cut from the cloth jeans, especially these older styles, but for $2 and they're a size 12.